praise the Lord, just sitting here in the rest area. There's so much traffic out here on the interstate right now. I thought I would just pull over, pull over <laughs> and take a break. So I'm just sitting here just walking around in my mind and was reminded of a, a story my dad, my papa told me one time and I was hooked on everything but the Lord. I had just gotten out of the army and I had went to Alabama. I didn't want to fly. I was so freaked out and messed up in such a, in a nervous state of mind and heart and condition. I decided I was going to jump on a Greyhound bus and take that long 18 hour drive to Alabama from, from Arlington, Virginia, from DC. And I walked in, I noticed my, my dad bucked his eyes. He could tell I had lost weight and, you know, and my cheekbones were higher than they were now. They was almost in my temples. I was, I had a liquid diet and a peel diet, you know, and I had a night life and I didn't have a day life. I had daymares, nightmares, and a night life, a alcohol, a peel problem, an addiction, a, a, a FTJ, a full time junkie. <laughs> As I leave this alone. So he started telling me about this little boy who had one arm and how people would push him down and would fight him. He only had one arm and as time progressed, his mom would feel so bad about him coming home, whooped and wore out and wounded. And so she put him in these karate classes. Mm. And he made me sit down and hear him when he told me this story. He said, sit down, I want you to hear me. Don't say nothing, just hear me. And so he started talking about this little boy with one arm who would get whooped and and so... The little boy started practicing his karate at the dojo with Grandmaster, I think he said Grandmaster Lee. My middle name is Lee, by the way. And the little boy got better and better and started competing. And before you know it, he could whoop everybody at the dojo. He was whooping them left and right. And he started competing in, competing in contests and, 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 and regionals. And, and as time progressed, he got, he became very, uh, adept at flipping and throwing and, and 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 breaking moves and breaking holes and defensive and offensive moves, you know, and and, and he, 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 I mean, with one arm. And so it came uh, to a point in time when he had moved well up the chain in the dojos in the area and and fighting competitions and martial arts competitions, and he had to fight this this one kid that was. That was huge. I don't like saying kid. This one child, this one teen that was huge. And his mom was con was very, very concerned. She said, Mr. Lee, my son is small with an arm missing, with a limb missing. I don't want him to compete against this big, this big teenage child, this big teenage boy. And Mr. Lee looked at him and said, one move. So she went back up in the stands and sat down. And the two came out and one on this side of the mat, one on this side of the mat. And and they started introducing him. She ran down again and said, Mr. Lee, I have a bad feeling about this. He said, bad feeling is for other guy. One move. So she went back up in the stands and the referee dropped his hand and they came out. And they locked up. They locked up. The big kid grabbed him and, and tossed him and he, he held on for dear life. He tossed him again. He held on for dear life. And then he got the big, the big, the big teenage boy in a, in a certain, certain hole and he couldn't break it. And so after a while uh, of, of, of reaching around him and retching around him and trying to uh, uh, break the, the hold of the, the, the young man with the one arm, one limb missing, one arm missing, he had to concede. He had to give up. He had to tap out. And so everybody was celebrating and hugging one another and it was, uh, uh, you know, filled with uh, congratulations and, and, and attaboys and good job. And so finally the mother went over to Mr. Lee and said, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, but how? How? And Mr. Lee, looked, Mr. Lee looked at the mom and said, one move. And I said, Dad, what you mean? He said, the only way the bigger kid, the bigger teen, the bigger boy could get out of that hole, he had to grab the missing limb. And I started bawling. He said, son, you have one move to make to get your life together. You have one move to get out of the situation you're in. And, 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 and the only way that that bigger teen could, could get out of that hole he had to grab hold to the missing limb of the of the young of the smaller boy, and that stuck with me. Because sometimes we get ourselves in situations, mm, and all we need is to make one move to make our life better, one move to make our mind and heart better, 
One move to make our marriage better. One move to make the situational condition better. So I thought I would share that with you if I sat here on the side of the road and as I leave this alone. Thank you, Papa. I miss you so much, man. I think about you every single day. Every time I look in the mirror, I see you. And every time I think about mom, I reach for my cell phone. So you make that one move you need to make in order to better your life. One move. Peace.